What a what a. Here we go again, back with some more mystery case files. This time, Ravenhurst. Dear Master Detective, I have long been fascinated by tales of a remote manor near Blackpool, Britain. Those possessing the bravery to venture inside are likely to return with very odd descriptions of what lies within. Almost half of the 30-odd rooms have been locked in a most unusual fashion, locked to, keep, locked to keep secrets safe, some believe. I've recently acquired a diary of a young woman who lived there, or who lived in the home some many years ago, yet only one entry remains intact. Perhaps you can find the missing pages and unlock the secrets of Ravenhurst Manor. Yours truly, the Queen of England. Seriously. All right. Seriously. And here we are. Mystery Case Files. Ravenhurst. All right. So, um, let's see. Yep, yeah, Agent Panda Bomb. And I think we're ready to go. Caw, caw. Let's see. Relax mode. Normal time play. We're gonna go um, all in, baby. No relaxed. There's no relaxing. I'm sorry. I'm yelling. Let me turn my mic down a bit. Or not my mic, but turn the volume down in my headphones because it's kind of loud. Entry one. I am not going to read all these because it's got the chicken scratch going on. You can pause it and read it if you like. Today, I finally made my arrival in Blackpool, England. That's a terrible, a terrible accent. That was my, that was my Emma Rose. <laughs> I already missed my friends and family back home in Iowa. Well, she wouldn't have an English accent if she's from Iowa. I don't know what people from Iowa sound like. <laughs> so. I'm going to continue reading it this way. But I always swore that after my final year, after my final year at the teacher's college, I would spread my wings and see more of the glorious world. I don't know how people from Iowa sounded in the uh, 18th century, I guess. Yeah, no, it'd be the 19th century. Anyway. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Stop it. Dog back there. Alright. Okay, no. I'm not gonna read all this. Okay, so... We gotta do all this stuff. Let's close this diary and get a move on. Hit visit clue locations by... Okay, yeah. We know these. Alright. Ravenhurst. It's been a while. I think that indicates that there's a lock on that door. So uh, I'm going to start with the entry. Thank you. All right, we need to find playing card, valve, a steak, garlic, surgical clamps, flask, maracas, and sunglasses. All right. That little tick tocking sound there is a uh, hint if you need to. Okay, I got it. Um, all right, so. We're looking for a playing card, a valve. Mm, that can look like a bunch. Uh, a stake. Hmm. Uh, a stake. Is this steak cooked? Is it raw? Or is it a wooden steak? No, that's spelt different, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's S T A K E. Anyway, maracas, sunglasses, flask, surgical clamp. Is that a surgical clamp? Yeah, it is. It's got the little, those things on it. I think they're like cotton pads. At least that's what they look like. I have no idea. I've never held said clamps in real life. So I don't know. Uh, keep looking in this area thinking it's some kind of steak. There's the valve. Um, there's a steak. Uh-huh. It's raw. Uh, a maraca. Or maracas. And sunglasses. And garlic. That's a spine. Um. 
Okay. Ooh, this place is evil. I'll give you one guess who's whispering that to us. Those are some big maracas. They kind of look like gourds. Is that garlic? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, we need a flask and some sunglasses. Man, oh man, it has been a, it's been a pretty good day. I didn't go to work today, I was off. Uh, did some uh, audio recording for my band. I uh, got a new album coming out. I'll let y'all know about that later, maybe. Um, trying to keep these separate because this is my free time here. I have not been yawning. And as soon as I get on here to start playing, uh, I start yawning. It's that whole changing of your breathing pattern thing. But uh ordered some wing street wings. Uh had those. Been sitting out on the porch with the uh fire going in the fire pit, relaxing, having having a cold beverage. It's been a good day. Cut the I cut the front yard and the side. I didn't cut the back because there's no need to. Uh, there's leaves everywhere. I uh, cleaned out my shed. Put up my motorcycle. <clears throat> uh, I actually need to... I've got to repair it, but until I get it repaired, I don't need to leave it sitting out in the weather. Alright, I'm not seeing a flask or sunglasses. Okay, there's a flask. Again, it was probably because I was talking. And I say again, because I said that before, when I didn't. Uh... I'm good with one. Let's back up. Here's the front porch for you. Alright, a pepper, a phone. That pepper. Those aren't pepper. S Those aren't pepper. A uh, phone, saw, an igloo. <clears throat> There's the igloo. Lime, squash, an alarm. Uh, there's all kinds of things on this porch. Guess there hasn't been a caretaker in a while. Um, let's see what we're looking for now. Squash. That's there's some squash. A um, a phone, a saw. What kind of saw would you like to play a game? No, I don't. I'm playing a game. There's the saw. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice. It's probably because I recorded today. A lot of, uh, did a lot of takes. A whole lot of takes. And, uh, I did some singing and rapping. So, uh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, <laughs> vocal work going on. All right, I want to find this pepper. I don't want to. I want to. <clears throat> I don't want to go just yet. Um, excuse me. It is actually rather detrimental to one's voice to clear their throat that hard, but it was getting kind of annoying. So, what kind of pepper are we looking for? Are we looking for like black pepper? We're looking for a black pepper, like uh, that you put on your food, or like a bell pepper, green pepper. Unlock the secret. All right, that didn't sound like the other voice, the one telling, the one that told me that this place was evil. Then again, why would that voice tell me to unlock the secret while it's telling me that it's evil? There's the pepper. All right, I feel better now. Oh. The door to this location is locked. Get inside by solving the puzzle. Look closely, experiment, and click everything. I am not clicking everything. You know how many pixels are on this monitor right now? Anyway, I don't think that's what they meant, but you know. Oh, you, you never know till you try. All right, so we got the day. We got the day. We got the night, and uh, we got circle things here and circle things here. I think this is pretty obvious. 
Let's put everything that goes in the sun on the day side and everything that goes in the night on the night side. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty confident that that will open the door. Switch. Switch. Door. Open the door. Excellent work. <laughs> you solved the puzzle and unlocked the door. Click OK to go inside and search for clues. Thank you. And another messy place. Creepy picture. Mitt. We're looking for a mitt. Mitt. Party hat. That's not a party hat. Uh... teapot a trophy hmm I came in like when we first came in the room I saw a trophy it was that whole taking the room in I was pretty sure I'd let you out I don't know if I'm gonna let you out I, hell no uh, a duck wrench in a bottle but yeah I, 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 was, I was pretty sure that I saw the trophy but it I don't know where. Baguette. That's a bone. I hate I hate that when I sit down to play, I start yawning, yawning a lot, yawning. <laughs> I start yawning a lot because it makes me stop and it. What she said? It makes me it makes me um, mute the mic and it puts weird pauses in the. Um, in my commentary especially when they come in the middle of a sentence like I feel it's about to yeah and it's a lot and it's like I don't want to I'm doing the whole mute thing because it takes just way too long it takes way too long to edit these when I yawn and sniff and burp and all that good stuff very frequently. Am I looking for a phone? No. Teapot, trophy, mitt, and a bottle. What kind of bottle? Hmm. That's a teacup. I'm looking for it. There's a bottle. I'm looking for a teapot. Listen here to pain. That was uh, Squidbillies when they had tea pain on there. There's a teapot. And uh, the Grandpa Squid was all like, look here to pain. That just tickled me. I don't remember nothing else about that episode, but he called him to pain. And... No one leaves. No one I'm leaving. You best believe that. I am leaving. All right, I only need one more. Oh, and I get five clues. It was like the first one. We only got three. Then we got four. Now we got five. I wonder if they did that on purpose. But yet I have like 23, 26 minutes and 23 seconds. But I don't know what I have to do after this. So, well, let's look for a little bit. I'm sure it won't take me 25 minutes to do whatever it is I need to do. And of course I say that and then it will. Mitt. I'm sure it's going to look weird. The mitt is. It's going to be some old timey mitt. Or the trophy that I looked at several times. Wasn't even thinking. Alright. Okay, yeah, it's these things. Can I, like, turn them? Yeah, yeah, I can turn them. Um. Oh, uh, what? I think that, yeah. No? Yeah, it is. That's part of her. Yeah, okay. Uh, what was I saying? I don't even remember. <laughs> Here, find this clover I found on the ground. Oh, you're so romantic. All right, what was I talking about? Um, crap. It'll come back to me when it doesn't matter. It's gonna bother me now, and I'm sitting there thinking about that. This looks like hair. Ah, that's the side of your head. And this is the side of your head. No, that's the top of your head. Hmm. 
This looks like it can be the bend of your arm. No, no, that's where it goes. There we go. This looks like uh, your shoulder with somebody behind you. This is a corner. Is it this corner? No. You sure about that? Yeah, it's not. It's... Is it this corner? I don't... It's not that corner. Okay, I guess it's this top corner. Um... Don't, don't, don't you make fun of me. Don't you do it. Man, y'all, what was I talking about? Man, I, I am at a loss right now. So I was gonna say something, and I thought it was pretty clever to say. And, um, I don't remember, so therefore I can't say it. I don't even remember what it was about. It's gonna bug me forever. It's gonna bug me. Now I feel all awkward trying to feel silences. Did they have to do it, yawning? We found a diary entry, entry number two, September 10th, 1894. An intriguing man. The autumn formal was absolutely what my homesick heart required. Anytime is an occasion for a dance, as my father is one to proclaim I felt a home. I read too slow for these. Uh, Charles Delamar is the guy with the clover. I must have made quite an impression, for his eyes did not long did not long take Le Thought she was from Iowa. Why is she talking like that? Anyway, excellent work, Master Detective. You have located a journal entry. Next. Oh, here's the rest of it. Alright. Yeah, I am not gonna read those because I am not a good reader. Obviously. Long story short, let's see. She went to a dance. Dude came up with a clover. Was all like, hey, I'm feeling lucky. And my name's Charles, by the way. And she's all, what's up, Chuck? And he's all, um, let's dance. And they danced. So... And they stared at each other.